I've got a significant old oak tree here that we're working on today and it's considerably older than it may look. You see this is a fairly unusual species. I mean they grow all over the place but it's unusual because it's so large. This is a blue oak, Quercus douglasi. And unfortunately, somebody has developed around it. And I see all kinds of problems and potential problems. Right here you can see where cars have been coming across it. There's a spot that has been absorbed from an ancient pass wound, probably something right there. The fact that there's a road here tells me that there may be underground trenching for utilities to the house back over that way. They've put in concrete up over here. So just from the perspective of root zone, <laughs> this tree is really in trouble. So the woman has lived in this house for over 50 years. And she told me that 50 years ago, the tree looked exactly the same. This kind of bothers me. There's a little bit of a spot where it goes under down here. And there's all kinds of problems in the upper canopy. Most important, look at how sparse the canopy is. Now that's not highly unusual for a blue oak because blue oaks are frequently more sparse than most of the other oak trees that we have around here. This is a blue oak and it's probably an offspring from the mother tree. And it's got a decent amount of foliage. That's about appropriate for a blue oak. With this guy, significant dead branches, upper canopy dieback everywhere around, major cavities, old wounds. This tree has been worked on and worked on and worked on. And now we have to make some decisions. My job today is to take out the major dead limbs up there, which is this one right here, that one over there, and another big one over there. And then there's a few other minor dead limbs there's one out that way but there's also some limbs that are showing um, signs of weakness that i may want to at least lighten up here's a good example right there the upper part of that is where there was an old cut made and all of that weight is going off of that old cut Okay, the story behind this tree. Well, this woman lived at this house for the last 50 years and the tree has been worked on numerous times and it had this fairly extensive cavity that you could only see when you got up into the tree. So my job was to thoroughly inspect this tree and help her decide whether we should keep it or not. There were so many things, including this big old bar that went through the tree. It wasn't a threaded rod. It was a, a solid bar probably threaded on either end. You don't see those too often anymore. When people do a, a through rod on a tree nowadays, it's usually a, a, a full threaded rod. So this is located up in the, uh, the hills and this hillside property had another house down below them. So if this tree failed, the house below them could be uh, an issue. And there were so many big dead limbs in this tree. As I said before, the upper canopy is declining. And, and I really had my doubts about this tree. I told her, I said, I said, we can go in there and I'm just charging you on time. We can get up there and take out some of the big dead limbs and see what's going on. So this video is pointing out all the old wounds, all the things that you can extrapolate to figure out what's going on on the inside of the tree. You know, the, the columns of decay that extend from one cavity down to another or down to that, that large void are to be interpreted. Now, this, this long dead limb right here, I ended up taking that one off completely. And further on in this video, you'll see the extent of the internal decay on that one dead limb. So it was piece after piece after piece and it still showed a long column of internal decay. 
Yeah, pretty sparse, pretty sparse. So when I first started this job yesterday, I, I thought that, well, I'll, I'll spend the day up there working on this tree and get all the dead wood out, really clean it up. And, and I, was, I was really hoping that the tree would be in better shape than what I was finding. There's a bit of a view of the Los Gatos Hills, way off in the distance there. You can see Highway 17. This is an area where an old limb ripped off, and you can see it tore all the way down the bark, and it's been growing up and absorbing that wound from years and years ago. That, that might be 50, 60 year old wound, I'm, I'm not sure. These blue oaks are very slow growing. They, they don't evolve into majestic trees. Look at that right there. That's a defect that um, is associated with that whole long limb. It wasn't extremely heavy, but I could see in the winds it could rock out. Oh, you're gonna like this. Look at how deep this cavity is. I was probing it. I keep a probe with me all the time. And this long, flexible, fiberglass rod here is uh, <laughs> it discovers what's going on you know I don't have x-ray vision but if you can poke through the punky decay it gives you a better idea of how voluminous this decay pocket is and and bear in mind when it stops that doesn't mean that the decay stops that just means that's the openness of the hollow look at how deep it goes down the trunk I'm guessing all the way to the ground. And you have to read the old wounds. Look at that old, old wound. It's completely grown up and around. And there's that rod again. Um, I could not see where the, the nuts were on the other side, on either of those branches. Yeah, that's a bad spot right there. Looks like something ripped off and tore a big opening and it goes all the way up the limb. And it, that's part of that branch out there, which is not excessively heavy, heavy, but if it does rip, it'll come down and probably break her, her railing. Now, fortunately, I can get the bucket in really close, which will help me out immensely on a lot of this work. But there's some branches that are kind of subjective, like this limb over here, for instance. That's a significant limb. It's wide angle there and it's going out over the hillside right there. And that may be pulling the tree over. So should I get some weight off of that? I don't know, that's got enough of the foliage that that may be supplying the, <laughs> the food for the tree, the photosynthesis that converts to sugars that is the food that the tree needs. Looks like all the healthiest foliage is down in the lower parts of the tree. There's a little bit up there, but I can see that that's growing off of an old cut, see down in here. So that may develop a weakness. See another spot where a limb ripped. You can see that weakness in the bark right there where it ripped all the way down. And that hole scares me. So worst case scenario is if this tree has enough of a rotted root system and it should go over, which way will it go? Well, that's a really tough call, but it does seem to have a little bit more weight on this side, which would put it down the hill. If it came this way, it could hit the house. It could possibly go down, but the likelihood of the roots on the top Kind of stabilizing it but it would take out that tree and it would take out that tree and wipe out a lot of the landscape on that side you know so a lot of the the decisions that i help my clients make are based upon the age of the tree the the defects in the tree the number of potential problems as well as the longevity of the tree now this tree has looked like this for a long time but at some point in time they're going to have to make a decision So I did take out one large dead limb. I got up there and we roped everything down. And I was surprised to see that 
it was not just dead, it was hollow, and this, this column of decay spread all the way down this trunk. So it's easy to look at something like this and say, okay, that's kind of what it's like through the rest of the tree. And if you look closely at this, you see like a flat spot right there. Long time ago, there was a, a, a branch cut off right there, and the tree grew up and around and absorbed it. That was interesting. Oh, this was tough. I got into a spot, and all of a sudden, all this water started coming out. And so part of that decay pocket had all this mush. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> that was kind of creepy, actually. <laughs> Welcome to Halloween. <laughs> and look at that. That was a, a woodpecker hole. That, that was pretty cool. There's some really, really hungry woodpeckers up there. <laughs> Everywhere in the tree were, were woodpecker holes. So I told her, this tree's got to go. And she agreed. So we stopped. And I just went on and started. Actually, I finished up another job. I'll show you this one in the next video. That was kind of a cool drop there. Hey, thanks for watching.